Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Microsoft Defender for Servers. Microsoft Defender for Servers provides threat detection and advanced defense to the Windows and Linux machines, whether they are running in Azure, AWS, GCP or on-premises. To protect machines in hybrid and multi-cloud environments, Defender for Cloud uses Azure Arc. So Microsoft Defender for Server is available in two plans, which is Microsoft Defender for Servers Plan 1 and then another is Microsoft Defender for Server Plan 2. So if I will just write here, Microsoft Defender for Servers Plan 1 and same way Microsoft Defender for Server plan 2 okay the difference would be so microsoft uh, server plan 1 deploys microsoft defender for endpoint to your servers and provides the capabilities such as microsoft defender for endpoint licenses are charged per hour instead of per server right so lowering cost of protecting virtual machines only when they are in use Another is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint deploys automatically to all cloud workloads so that you know they are protected when they spin up and then alerts and vulnerability data from Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is shown in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. And then if you discuss about Microsoft Defender for Server Plan 2 which was Defender for Servers earlier, it includes the benefits of Plan 1 and support for all the other Microsoft Defender for Server features. To enable the Microsoft Defender for Server, let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I am logged on to the portal. In here, we go to the environment settings and select the subscription. So you come into the Defender for Cloud and then you click on environment settings. Your select your subscription all right it was at the bottom you click your subscription uh, default initiative you can do that industry uh, let me look for it again let's see I'm not able to recall it but let me see Okay, you click on that subscription, then you come to the Defender Plans. Okay, so remember that under Environment Settings, you go to Defender Plans to enable the Defender for Servers and other features of Microsoft Defender for Cloud. It is taking few extra seconds to load, so let me just wait and pause the video. Here you see Defender for Servers is enabled, which is plan 2, $15 per server per month. You see the monitoring coverage. If you set it off, you just click on save and this would be disabled. I don't have any servers onboarded, so I'm just keeping it on for now. Right, so you can compare the features on the Microsoft documentation that what is enabled in Defender for Server Plan 1, what is enabled in Defender for uh, Plan 2. So there are some benefits of Defender for Servers other than the threat detection and protection capabilities provided uh, by Defender for Servers, Microsoft Defender for Servers. It has integrated license for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So, Microsoft Defender for Servers includes Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Together, they provide comprehensive endpoint detection and response, which is your EDR capabilities. So, when you enable Microsoft Defender for Servers, Defender for Cloud gets access to the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Data that is related to vulnerabilities, installed software, and then when Defender for Endpoints detects a threat, it would trigger an alert. The alert is shown in Defender for Cloud. Second is vulnerability assessment tools for machines. So Defender for Microsoft Defender for Servers includes a choice of 
vulnerability discovery and management tools for the servers from defender for clouds setting pages we can select the tools to deploy to our servers or machines then it is having microsoft threat and vulnerability management so we can discover vulnerabilities and misconfigurations in real time with microsoft defender for endpoint and without the need of other agents or periodic scans it also comes up with vulnerability scanner powered by qualys so the qualys scanner is one of the leading tools for real time identification of vulnerabilities in azure and hybrid virtual machines so we do not need a qualys license or even a qualys account everything would be handled by or inside the defender for cloud the just in time virtual machine access so when we enable defender for servers we can use just in time vm access to lock down the inbound traffic to the vms so which would keep the remote ports closed until needed which would reduce the exposure to attacks it also has file integrity monitoring which is also known as change monitoring examines files and registries of operating system application software and others for changes that might indicate an attack adaptive application control uh, which is an intelligent and automated solution for defining allow list for of known safe applications after we enable and configure adaptive application control we get security alerts if any application runs other than the ones Uh, which are defined as safe same way i have adaptive networking hardening so when we apply network security groups to filter traffic it improves the network security posture however there can still be some cases in which the actual traffic flowing through nsg is a subset of the nsg rule defined so if we want to further improve the security posture it can be achieved by hardening the nsg rules based on the actual traffic patterns so this adaptive network hardening would provide me the recommendations to further harden the nsg rules it would use the machine learning algorithm that factors in actual traffic known trusted configuration threat intelligence and other indicators of compromise same way i have docker host hardening and fireless i'm sorry fileless attack detection so fileless attacks inject malicious payloads into memory to avoid detection by disk based scanning techniques the attackers payload then persist within the memory of compromised processes and perform the wide range of malicious activities then the question comes in how does defender for servers collect data so microsoft defender for cloud integrates with azure services to monitor and protect the windows based machines defender for cloud presents the alerts and remediation suggestions from all the services in an easy to use format for linux defender for cloud collects audit records from linux machines by using audit d which is the most common linux auditing frameworks for hybrid and multi cloud scenarios defender for cloud integrates with azure arc to ensure these non azure v machines are seen on azure resources i hope this video was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day